Panthers and Panther, it's Panther XL360 here, and welcome back to Beings Right. Last time, we gathered our last piece of evidence, and now, it's time for the trial. Alright, we're facing it with again. So, will power. Alright, everything here, good, good. So, Miles. The defense is ready, Your Honor! Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court at 2 30 p.m. on October 15th that the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, was killed by fellow actor Jack. killed fellow actor Jack Amos at Studio One. Very well, I'm going to reward you. Sergeant, prosecution will call its first witness. I'd like to call the prosecution. Take the commission to the stand. Awesome! His testimony is always the easiest to break. Detective, if you agree with your son, give this case to the court. Yes, sir! I'll explain what the guy might be in. You understand the case? Turn to grasp the layout of the studio. See? This here is the employee area. The actors have went through the action scene, so I'm warning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The scary lady that works in the studios here's at 1 p.m. on that day. How scary guys are gate. See? Past that are the studios. And here is Studio 1. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, they are the one that are There are only three people here. The victim, Jack Hamlet, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the pro production's assistant. All production staff have were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hamlet, went to the field one. After that, at 1 p.m., Scary Lane got to the guard station. Now, Jack had to wear that day at 5 p.m. The production staff came to Scary Lane to perform rehearsal. Say the rehearsal was cancelled. Time on death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear was found lodged into lodged into the victim's chest with the murder. That that's the case in three. Anyone would like to hear that again? Should I visit that whole thing again? Skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a um, is this a spear? Huh. Um, medieval. That must be added to court record. Now we finally get it! Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. That question is, what did the security at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security... security officer to the stand. Oh great, we gotta do go- We gotta do all bag. Oh god, me and Nico both hate this. Witness declare her name. Mm. Oh god, no, she's probably getting long with Andrew. Why, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please! Oh god, no, don't insult her for Oh dear, you now need to be a girl. Oh god, your name! Please! <laughs> Second Andrew's name. Andrew has a fair draw game as witnesses say their names. I need all back, do I? Just going girl, that's probably right there. It's not like right there. That's all they have to do. Thank you! Oh, that was a good one. Oh, Objection! I, I object to the witnesses talking to you. Objection to the stage! Witness will afraid of rambling on the stand. This is just getting to the good one, do I? Well, suck it! I couldn't read it. It was too wild, Scott. Perhaps you can get to the test now. Witness was stationed on the main gate of the air the money, correct? Yes, the air was. I can't assume we're so not to pass by you. You know your stuff, Judy. We began to testify. She sure is one. an old bag. Witness testimony. Witness account! But I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. 
Oh, old ham, I've last been doing a fine food since the morning. Oh well, I had to manage to that morning. Anyway, it was at 1 p.m. that I got to the guard station. And it was, I was, I was at the main gate in there until 5. Now, I'm gonna have it at 2.30, right? Interesting to me, so the same man walked by it. Me at 2.00. 2 o'clock. That's right, it was about the man right there. He was heading towards the studio. You saw it right. <laughs> Very well. Let's begin with the cross examination. Yes, all right. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Cross. Bring it on, Edgeworth. Okay, let's do it. All right, all right. Uh, press it. So welcome to the time. Anyone who wanted to go to. Anyone who wanted to go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate. No, the main gate was locked, Dewey. Me and play card key to get in. Does anyone have to do that? I'm going to go to the station. Poor old hammer and the rest have been doing a good there since the morning. Oh, okay. But what I'm They were working on a scene between the steel sam and the evil mash pick. They got the basic speed up I knew, but it he used the afternoon for practice. We also was supposed to start at 5 p.m. That's why poor old Hammer went to steal one in the afternoon. Practice saying, I'm gonna lay back here. It's like one third in the morning, then why did you only get there after you? I will have to go to show them. Oh, Aaron. Oh, well, you know. And the. Actually, I was watching you behave. Well, the hammers and powers I'm observing. You weren't supposed to be at the guard station. If a snapper, I told you I locked the gate, and I, I did my job. Is your boss is here? Alright, uh, anyway, I always watch hammers run through. Always! I don't miss a single one in all my years! Wow. I see that it still seems like one through two. You could. Oh, you could quit being a Sermi and take a guard day. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, when I got to the gun station, I'm just gonna keep pressing everything just to make see the victim then. Yeah, see where I was at? Nope, you know I got no steel before I got back to the guard station. This is where I'm from next. I was on the main gate, beat me until 5, but now, what happened to happen that's not really right. Like? I'm gonna save stain. Impressive. So you still some hours, and that's what I said. You got Max in here, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to blow the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. It's that man right there. He was heading towards the studio. Alright. You sure about that? Yeah! Let me get this straight old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. <laughs> You didn't say since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just, wait, just a moment, Mr. Right? Let me see that photo. Hmm? What is this exactly? None of the Steel Samurai, defender of Mio Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is that had the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course. Didn't your mommy teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that powers, right? Uh, um, yeah! Oh, but me and the owls. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai! So, I, I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one knows or is accusing you of not missing when. <laughs> He's having trouble, he's having trouble calling the old bag. Alright, oh, do you not put the person for as well, Mr. Robots? You have to say, right? I'm gonna say a prayer. What? What? Huh? <coughs> he was Edward the first? Once again, you would like to ask the, the witness. <laughs> Please make all known information in your possession at halftime. Well, that's what I was saying. You should be ashamed. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't as any good as I was talking. Can you give it a second look? What? 
Wow, the old Windrush has left Edward's speech. Let's see about your proof then. This one, the man in the photo. Never said anything. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through of the action scene, I somehow was trip and fall. He broke one of the props, and it was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at the picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See, clear as day. That's how we... I do his thoughts. Happy? Hmm, so he had sprained an ankle. Alright, well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be silly. I'll press her until she squeals! I'm gonna make you squeal like a freaking pig! Um, I'm a snapper. Hey, I was saying for you. You're a number. I want to name everyone. Yeah, I'm just pressing everything. I'm just pressing everything. Oh God! Would you? That's right. Please, for our sake, show us. Let's match. Let's see those powers. I'm gonna call him the Master and me. I'm observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving back. Back drops and such. So she didn't see the one to head. Some powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes. And I think you're supposed to still survive. Well, laugh! Thing, his ankle. I don't think make a bad one. Of course, it helps to make it better. Guess they're on high. Let's just go along. Where's the assistant man? Oh, oh, she was playing up the backdrop, I think. She knew that was how it was able. We continue your testimony. We're up on the bus in the basement. What the fuck? Shut it! You don't stand my spear! What a weapon! Okay, I was there, like, duct tape to fix it. I think it's duct tape together. It's actually a snip in detail. I better write that down in the court record. Um, you can't fix that simply with duct tape. And I know this because I'm literally staring at a site I had to duct tape together. I'm not getting it. Most of it's duct tape. Tape because I broke it. Multiple times. No, it's a plastic. Right? And these are props. So they're most likely made of plastic. But I doubt they'd be hard enough to wear. And in a later game, came the actor, the new actor for the samurai. So samurai mentions that the spear is hollow, like my scythe. So yeah, I can. Oh, hey, this is how his ankle At least when he does, Bazzy, they couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Yeah. Sound dragging us up when he walked. I think we have heard now, how are we, Honor? Well, I was wondering that bothers you, which is, where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, uh, mm -hmm. actually, well, can't find it. We're looking now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to ask, but the witness did see the steel samurai, yes. Listen, in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you Sorry about that. Save Rusito! Powers. There, we keep talking about the police, but we haven't agreed that the photo steals the show Sailor. So, can we see Will Powers? The fence has a point. I also wonder if someone else. Well, it's not on camera computer, but we have to consider that possibility also. I would agree with you. And I moved down. Mind your honor. Will the witness continue our testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Witness testimony, witness account, continued. Time of the four hammers that was too late. True. The only person I saw go to the sphere before but then it was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. If no one else went to the studio, there would have been this steel samurai did. Right, you're crossing the other witness. Sweet, I'm just gonna cross-examine this and then end up the episode. 
Also, sorry for this episode being on the Monday, remember the rule. Or if an episode isn't on the day it's meant to be, it'll be on the day next. Monday being once again the exception. I almost forgot that photo. Hold on! I just saw it got one more time. I saw it was taken by the camera at the gate to the series, correct? Yes, sir, is, Sonny. So, whenever so anyone passes by it, it automatically takes a picture. And then I thought you didn't know your head from your from a hole in the ground. Right, right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer and the guard station records all the security cam data. Oh, you know, if you want to work at the studio, we might have an opening. We are printing out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2, 2 p.m. Photo number two! That means, means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, say, actually, I knew that too. Issue here is the bed the end where it says photo number two! Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be phone number one if it's the only- Oh no! Oh! Son an old bag! Ah ah ah! Please tell us what we mean by this, right? Actually, that's why I'm about to ask for witness. This evidence shows not one, but two people went to this video other day, yet there was only one- Only day for one of these others. Who could have raised the day for the other photo? Only someone access the security layer itself! Eat! You watch your battle, right? Stop by the old bus and I saw that day was no powers! But what about the camera on the gate fired twice? That means who we want to Um, well, yes, that's. Uh, uh, when does it spoil this before? Eat! Um, I don't understand these new big old computer things. Um, Edgy Fair, we're out! Uh, uh, believe me, I want you, but I don't know what this means either. Somehow, you are, you are Wimper Sniffer too! Wimper Sniffer? Doesn't even matter. Ah! That's right! I- I just remembered something! Oh, uh, let me guess. Someone else did pass the gauge. Someone other than the Steel Sailor. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you can play it that way. OH! Uh, I see. Your testimony, please. I'll take care of this next time. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe now and become a Panther or a Panther at favorite and share this video, show all your friends, and well, that's all I've got to say for now. This is Panther XLD60 signing out. Peace out. Goodbye.